Uh, let's consider the problem that how to find the area of parametric surfaces. From the from the multivariable calculus, we have we have already know that the the surface area can be read as <coughs> d square root one plus g x square plus g y square d x d y where s is <coughs> graph of z equals g x y. But for parametric uh, parametric surfaces, how to find the area? If s is determined by the uh, vector value uh, vector value the function or parametric function uh, parametric equation, how to find the, its area? Now, suppose this is the surface. And this is the domain of UV. UV belongs to D. And uh, <coughs> we use the approximation of tangent plane. First, we uh, divide the surface into small section, small sections. In each section, and each part is correspond to uh, is correspond to the d. Uh, if we divide d into rectangles, then this part, the 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 small part of the surface, we can approximate by the uh, tangent plane. This is by the tangent plane. By the tangent plane. <coughs> and this corresponds to the uh, to the domain that's uv as this part is delta u this part is delta v and we call and, and actually <coughs> if the if the domain is a rectangle area then the is correspond to the tangent plane as a uh, par parallelogram, and the the area of the parallelogram as can be uh, uh, can be uh, evaluated by the two vectors adjacent to vectors. If we call this as vector A. This is vector A and this vector B. Then the delta S can be approximated by the A cross B and take the length. And what is A? Uh, or uh, what is A uh, in terms of uh, U and V? Because this line. This curl is correspond to v equals constant, and uh, another is u equals constant. So vector a is the same direction as r u, but what what is the length? Actually, it's r u times delta u. Why? Because R U is X U of U V, Y U of U V, Z U of U V. The X U, X U is the rate of change. X U that is D U over 
uh, dx d as dx uh, du. That's the ratio, ratio change for x direction. So x u times delta u, that is the uh, that that is that is the uh, component of R u at x direction. So uh, that we can write as so. Uh, uh, this uh, because this line is just uh, uh, u is changed to be delta u. So uh, a equals so we can cross back uh, come back that is uh, a equals r u delta u which I'll change in x direction So <clears throat> we have a equals r u delta u. Similarly, we have b equals r v delta v. So we have delta s can be approximated by r u delta u cross r v delta v and the length. So that is r u cross r v the length of R u cross R v times delta u delta v. Now let's delta u and delta v tends to zero, or plus to zero. We, and add all delta s together, we have s equals the R u cross R v d u d v and over the region d. That's the, that's the formula for the area of parametric surfaces. Now let's uh, take some examples and use this formula. The first one is find the area of a sphere with uh, sphere of radius A. The solution is we already know that this sphere can be par uh, parameterized by the R U V uh, R theta R theta R theta and the phi that is uh, a uh, sine phi cosine theta that's i plus a sine phi sine theta j uh, plus a cosine phi k uh, sometimes we uh, maybe use the coordinate it's simpler sine phi cos and theta, a sine phi sine theta, and a cos and phi. So the r theta is negative a sine phi sine theta, a sine phi cos and theta, neg uh, uh, zero as derivative for theta and r phi r phi uh, that is a cosine phi cos sine theta a cosine phi sine theta and negative a sine phi now we take the uh, cross product r theta cross r phi that is i j k r theta that is negative a 
sin phi sin theta a sin phi cosine theta zero and a sin phi cosine theta a sin phi sin oh sorry a cosine phi a cosine phi cosine theta a cosine phi sine theta negative a sine phi as equal i as negative a square sine phi square cosine theta as i and g g is negative a square sine phi square sine theta as g and k that is negative a square sine phi cosine phi and then theta square and uh, minus a square sine phi cosine theta uh, cosine phi cosine theta square as k uh, simplify the uh, the term in the bracket that is negative a square sine square phi cosine theta minus a square sine phi square sine uh, that's i that's i minus that's sine theta g uh, minus a square as a sine theta square plus cosine theta square that is sine phi cosine cosine phi okay now take the uh, take the uh, length of the cross product that is square root a of 4 sine 4 phi cosine theta square plus a of 4 sine phi of 4 and sine theta square and plus a4 sine phi square cosine phi square uh, this cosine theta square plus sine theta square so the first two terms equals a4 sine 4 phi sine phi 4 and uh, we separate sine phi of 4 that is sine okay that is a4 sine phi 4 plus a4 sine phi square cosine phi square uh, that's sine 4 that is sine square plus cos uh, sine square times sine square sine square plus cosine phi square so that's square root a4 sine phi square that is a square sine phi and then the surface area as on the d i r theta cross r phi the length and the d z d phi d theta and theta is from 0 to 2 pi because this is a sphere here uh, theta from 0 to 2 pi and phi is from 0 to pi we have this last uh, at last video so theta is from 0 to 2 pi and phi from 0 to pi and a square sine phi d phi d theta 0 to 2 pi a square we take outside so negative cosine phi from 0 to pi then d theta that is a square uh, 
from pi uh, from zero to pi negative cosine phi is two, so that is two, and theta from zero to two pi that is four pi a square. That's the surface area of uh, a sphere. And second, uh, we find the surface area of the core z equals square root x square plus y square, uh, where z is between 0 and 1. Uh, there's actually there's two methods to find the surface area of this surface of this core. The first we can use uh, the formula for graph for graph. Use this one. So z equals square root x square plus y square. So g x. That's, that's g x y. g x is square root x square plus y square as x and g y that is y over square root x square plus y square. So the surface area is in the domain of x y square root 1 plus g x square plus g y square uh, dx dy where d is x square plus y square less or equal to 1 because uh, its projection its projection as x square plus y square less or equal to 1 so that is uh, x square plus y square s or equal to 1 that's the uh, integration uh, integration domain uh, that's 1 plus g x square that's x square plus y square as x square plus y square over x square plus y square dx dy x square plus y square that's or equal to 1 that's square root dx dy. Uh, use the, use the uh, geometric meaning of the double integral or that's actually the uh, integration of 1 that's actually the, uh, the area of the domain so that is square root 2 uh, times pi That's the, this is the, the integration for 1, that is the area of the domain. So we use this, uh, use this result to get, get uh, the value of the surface area. The second one, we can, use, we can use the parametric equation for the cone to get the, get the value of the surface area because the s can be write as r uh, rho theta uh, rho theta or rho t uh, we have this last term uh, that is um, x is rho cosine theta y is rho sine theta and uh, z is rho and uh, theta is from 0 to 2 pi and the rho is from 0 to 1 and r rho equals cosine theta sine theta and 1 r theta is negative rho sine theta and the rho cosine theta and zero so r rho cross r theta is i j k 
okay as cosine theta sine theta and uh, one negative rho sine theta rho cosine theta and zero as for i that is a negative rho cosine theta i for g uh, as uh, as negative this is negative and for g um, for g as positive but it itself is negative so that's negative rho sine theta g and for k that is rho cosine theta square plus rho sine theta square so that's rho equals negative rho cosine theta uh, i and negative rho sine theta as g plus rho k so the length of r u cross r theta that is square root rho square cosine theta square plus rho square sine theta square and then plus rho square this is actually rho square so that is square root 2 rho and hence the surface area as integration on the d r rho cross r theta and d rho d theta uh, the theta is from 0 to 2 pi rho is from 0 to 1 square root 2 rho and d rho d theta integration so square root 2 take outside take square root 2 outside and that's one half rho square from 0 to 1 then d theta so that is square root 2 over 2 times theta from 0 to 2 pi that is square root 2 pi that's the method to find the area of parametric equation uh, parametric surfaces we can uh, for graph we can use the first uh, formula and uh, for parametric surfaces we have to use the second formula